everyone and welcome to another Sephora Playbox. Jumping right into last month. So last month I, everything had come in this really cute silky bag. I love it. So cute. All right. So first thing was this um, Bumble and Bubble Hairdresseress Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I got two uses of the shampoo and one of the conditioner. I liked this. It did not have much of a scent. Didn't break me out at all. I like that. A lot of shampoos and conditioners give me really bad, um, like dry scalp or itchy, or I even like break out on my scalp. So I liked that this didn't do any of that. Next was this Belief True Cream. And this is more of like a gel type formula. It's a very blue color. It smells sort of like aloe. I liked this during the day. It wasn't the most moisturizing, but good underneath like primer and makeup and that type of thing. Um, if I wasn't going to wear makeup for the day, I would usually use something a little bit thicker just to give my skin a little extra moisture. Next was this Elginist Recharging Night Pressed Serum. Now this was really interesting. So it's like a serum, but it looks like a cream and it's very hard. I actually really liked this. I found it an easy way to rub a serum into my skin. Sometimes when you have a really liquidy serum, it just gets like in between all your fingers and you don't like get it on your skin and then you're wasting product and I hate that. So I thought this was a really awesome. I liked it a lot. Next was this Benefit Gimme Brow. Now I had actually tried a sample of this in my color once before. So this isn't a brand new product to me. It was a little bit dark for my eyebrows. It was number five. I usually do number three for the Benefit Brow products. But this is a really good product and because it's like a little brow gel, being too dark was actually okay. Um, what I really liked it for was I have a pencil that's actually too light. So I would use that and then use this and it came out to be a really good color. So it was a really good way to kind of use both um, products that I haven't been using. So that was kind of nice. So I'm going to keep using that to use up that pencil that's too light. Next was this Sephora Black Lace Eyeliner Waterproof, and I liked this a lot. Um, it's a smooth eyeliner, but it can be a little bit patchy in the waterline or tight line. Um, it's really hard to find a waterline tight line eyeliner that isn't patchy or doesn't wear off, even when it's waterproof. So um, kind of comparing to other ones that I've used in that area, it actually did really good. So I will definitely continue to use this. I have a whole drawer full of black eyeliners, so I'm not in the market to purchase any anytime soon, but definitely would recommend that one because it is good. And then the last thing was this Urban Decay Vince Waterproof Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I wore this once. It was so super drying. It was so, so ouchy on my lips. I don't know if I tried pairing a chapstick underneath it. I actually did try to put chapstick over the top and then it made everything kind of ball up and it was really bad and I ended up like scrubbing my lips off. But the color was so beautiful that it makes me kind of want to try it again. So I'm thinking either like a chapstick underneath it or maybe like a really moisturizing lip liner underneath it. Just something because it really hurt. All right, so moving on to this month. This month's big says public display of complexion. That's so cute. Oh my God, I love it. Oh. All right, first thing is Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. So exciting in Moonlight. I haven't tried any of these. I've always wanted to, but they're so expensive and I have so many highlighters. So I'm really excited to try this. Oh, it looks beautiful. It's like the goldeny color. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's like this beautiful, this beautiful goldeny color. Oh my God, that is I'm so excited to try that. I love highlight. That is my absolute favorite part of makeup. Next is Dr. Brandt uh, Primer. Ooh, I haven't tried a primer from them, I don't think. So that's exciting. I kind of want to see how the texture is. Oh, 
it's got a little like pinky tan tint to it. Very creamy. Feels good on the skin. So that should be good to try. I've been doing really good at using up all my samples of primers lately. So I'm ready for a new one. Next is the perfume. It's the Tory Burch. And... Oh, it smells good. It's like a light perfume. Not super overpowering, which I really like. Next is a Makeup Forever Ultra HD, and I don't know what color it is. It's Y415. This, the original formula, was my all-time favorite foundation. And then they changed the formula, and I got a sample to try it, but my sample is way too dark for my skin, even in the middle of summer. So I'm super excited to have a sample that's closer to my skin tone so I can try it again because I didn't want to buy a full-size bottle if I didn't like the new formulation. So I'm really excited to try that. Next is Stellar. It's Cosmic Face Powder in the color Haze. So it's a very fine face powder. I can't tell if it has a tint of color to it or if it's mostly... Um, translucent and I also can't tell if it has some shimmer to it because I've touched so many other shimmery products I think it's matte though so I'm excited to try that and the last thing is Sephora instant moisture cream hyaluronic acid booster oh that's exciting a new a face cream to try I haven't really tried much any of the skincare from Sephora. I've tried some other lip balms, but I think that's it. So that's exciting. All right, well, that is everything that I got in this month's Sephora. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!